Welcome to YouTube by DJSPRC. We have the TRX4M Bronco. Uh, I'm slowly doing upgrades to this vehicle here. Uh, previous video, what I did, I did the steering knuckles. Uh, and now it's going to be the, the caster blocks. One's done ready on one side. I'll show you how I did the other side. Again, remove the body. See one side's one side's done, all brass to give a little bit more weight to the front. When you are climbing, your vehicle does not flip by behind. You just want to give it more weight. Now, I do recommend if you are going to do these upgrade here, the steering knuckles and the steering links, um, to upgrade your bearings if you did not do that. I do have the kit right here because um, these are all brass. You see the brass insert right here. I'm not going to say brass is not good. It is. It just wears off. Now we're going to do the part 9733. And we're going to insert our bearing inside. If I can insert it straight. There we go. Now, if you did the uh, steering, the steering blocks, you'll need to remove them. Remove the top screw of the block that pulls the steering link. Put that aside. We're going to remove our top screw. And we're going to remove our bottom screw. Now, what I'm going to do, put these aside, I'm going to hold the axle and pull everything in one shot out. And the reason I'm doing this is the CV joint, there's a pin that goes side to side. Sometimes, when you're going to try to remove it, that pin will creep out and prevent you from pushing it back in. It's just to prevent some pain in my eh. Uh, you'll see right here, there's two bolts in the middle where the bearing is, or the, the bushing is, should I say. You're going to remove those two bolts. Now, keep those bolts. You'll need to reuse them. And that put that aside. You're gonna grab your, your knuckle and just gonna put back those two screws. Now, when you're gonna tighten these back on, again, snug. If you over tighten them, you will strip your plastic. Now, I might get a comment or two saying why did I upgrade the axle itself to steel or aluminum? Personally, I say upgrading the casing here. For me, it's kind of a waste. It's going to get scratched up left and right and you don't really need it. Now, did I ever did it on other vehicles that I have? Yes, I did. My SCX24. It's fully, all the axles, casing are all aluminum. Did I really need to do it? No. I just felt like, why not? Now I want to turn this guy a little bit. That's where it, what I hate is, you'll notice this is keyed. When you do insert it, it might want to go specific place. And you'll need to push the string knuckle out a bit and turning it. 
and pulling the axle out. If not, nothing will align. I'm gonna put my bottom screw in. When it's snug, I'm gonna stop. Those screws have Loctite. I'm gonna do the top one. And basically what you're doing is what you remove, you're putting back on. If you're not sure exactly when you dismantle it, put it back in, look on the other side. This side's identical. It's just reversed. There you go. Both sides are done. Oop, losing one of my bearings here. And like I said, if you are going to do the steering knuckles and the uh, steering blocks, uh, I do recommend going with bearings. Please remove those bushings. In the long run, you'll thank me. Now I'm going to put my pins back, my X's, put my wheels back on, and go have fun with this truck. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that thumbs button in the corner. I do appreciate it a lot, and please subscribe. Thank you for watching.